Assalamu alaikum. Ya ha. Konnichiwa. My transition point is I was looking for a job on campus. I found that they required a lot of skills, even for student jobs. Um, I just asked myself, what about my future job? Uh, because they would require a lot more skills. Um, and I think it is too late to prepare for your future job uh, after graduate. So I just started uh, working on myself while I'm a student, uh, to get, trying to get more experience and skills. So uh, my transition point is when I was a sophomore student, one of my um, friends, Lee, who is currently working at Mora Career Services, he recommended me a student group called International Business Association, IBA. So when I joined the group, I met new people, I met like, people who are interested in business, more, spe more specifically many students that are ma majoring in accounting and majoring in finance. So I can like understand and uh, look through their career path and also their job hunting process, and that's how I get more and more determined for like my future career path. I want to get into big four and then transition to financial services or consulting services, and that's my so my recommendation is just getting involved in some student groups. You can involve in some student groups you're interested in, but also you can involve in some student groups like they do provide some technical information, technical knowledge, that's also very important. So for me, I joined IBA a bit of a side, like it's more like interest, and also I joined like in investment group, it's more like technical information they offered. So that's a pretty well-balanced path for me, as when I look back for my college life. I'm talking to professors and talking to Craig and Whitney and a lot of alumni that you get to network with in events um, they, they usually just always say the same thing like make sure you make connections with your teammates and always talk to people if there's anything that's going on as much as possible try to go um, so yeah that's just what I realized is that at the end of the day um, most times your your classmates your MBA students they are your family and so those are the people that eventually you're going to need to lean, lean on or fall back on if you need like, you know, connection to someone or to a certain job or, you know, anything like that. You're always going to need them in the future and currently. So, yeah. My high school alumni really influenced me a lot because she loves you all so much. So she taught me you will have lots of programs to help international students. She encouraged me to participate in career empowerment from this program, I got a one-term job shadow opportunity with International Student and Scholar Services. Uh, during the job shadow, I learned a lot such as emailing, uh, room and catering reservation, budgeting and communication. So from that time, I was starting to think that as an as international student, I can speak English to work with others. Also, I can do something outside the classroom. So from that time, I wanted to have an on-campus part-time job. It was my friends at the community college that I attended to. So they knew what they wanted to do in the future, but me at the time was not sure about what, what, I'm gonna, what, what I am going to be doing in the future. So. I talked with them and one day we went to this baseball game and I really liked the atmosphere and I was like, this is it, I want to make events and then entertain people because entertaining is one of my passions. So then I started doing the research about event business and I found out there's a thing called uh, experiential experiential marketing which is a combination of marketing and events okay this is what I want to do in the future so basically I found my passion through talking with my friends 